Hello everyone, this is Geisel13 here with another Fruity Loop Studios 8 tutorial. This time I'm going to show you guys how to save a mixer state, uh, a mixer track state. Uh, what a mixer track state is, is in your mixer, um, once you load the effects that you want, you know, the effect generators that you want, and the different um, the different settings in them. Uh, if you want to save it or use it for a different project, uh, what you need to do is save it. And this is how to do it. You right click on the mixer channel you want, go to file, save mixer, save mixer track state. And, um, that's it. That's all you do. Name it um, a creative name that you'll remember. Do what it does. This one I named it um, Hard Gated Hard Style Kick Generator. Um, the reason I called it Gated Hard Style Kick Generator is because it takes a regular um, kick set that sounds like this, and it turned it and with the presets I made using only Fruity Fast Dist, uh, Fruity Filter, Fruity Reverb, and Fruity Bass Boost uh, it made a basic kick like this sound a little better kinda maxes out my speakers but it does sound pretty cool and I can limit it later so I'm not going to show you guys how to make that um, kick just yet, that's for another tutorial, but for saving mixer states, it's real simple. Right click on the channel, file, save. Also, Fruity Loop Studios has a bunch of built-in uh, mixer states. Uh, general purpose mastering, which is great when you finish a song, reverb, uh, tape simulation, chorus, uh, default mastering, whole bunch of stuff. Um, load it in, and it's done. If you want to change it just a little bit, click on the effect you want and mess around with it. That's all for this Fruity Loop Studios tutorial and I just showed you how to save a mixer track state. Thanks, have a good one. Bye.